Hello, everyone. Welcome to Therapeutic Yoga class today. Uh, today is going to be a fun one. We're going to be tackling anxiety. So we are going to be working on calming down the epicenter of our stress brain, also known as our amygdala. More specifically, we are going to do a little bit of a physical practice to generally just open up our nervous system and allow ourselves to create that mobility work flexibility of the brain, I guess we could say, uh, for the concept of anxiety today. What we are really going to be challenging in our brain is the idea of cognitive distortion. Now, we are going to do a lot of self-talk as we move our bodies today. So when we think of the concept of cognitive distortion, cognitive means brain, distortion means wrong, right? It's distorted. Think about a mirror that looks distorted. So when we think of anxiety and one of the key things that drives and spins our brain out of control with anxiety, it's that we start to think that our thoughts are facts. So we're going to spend our physical practice of yoga today self-talking to ourselves that those thoughts that we think are facts may not possibly be true. And as we talk about that, then hopefully what will happen is that concept of cognitive distortion will go away and so will our anxiety. So all you're going to need for class today is your yoga mat and something to sit on like a yoga bolster. Once you've got both of those, find yourself in a nice, good, easy pose or modification of easy pose. Place your hands onto the front of your thighs, sit yourself up nice and tall. And in this position, just allow yourself to begin with an inhale and rolling your belly forward, allowing that pelvis to tilt forward, lengthen the spine upward and gaze upward gently. And then as you exhale, let that belly go inward, tuck that tailbone under, curl that rib cage under, lengthen the back of the neck and settle into your chest. Two more times for me, inhale, lengthen the spine first, stick that belly out, tilt that tailbone upwards, lengthen the neck and look up. And then as you exhale, curl that belly in, curl that rib cage under, tuck that tailbone under, settle that chin into the chest as the neck lengthens. Last time here, inhale, inhaling and inhaling and inhaling and exhaling and exhaling and exhaling and exhaling. You've got it. Roll yourself all the way back up until you feel like you're on your sit bones. Sit your spine up nice and tall. And then from your hips, allow yourself just to slightly hinge forward until you feel weight on the outside of your feet. Take your hands, hold your hands like they're in a nice, beautiful tray position. Allow yourself to slightly shrug your shoulders up. Rotate your arms outward and pull your elbows back and down. Sit those shoulder blades down onto that rib cage. Keep that squeeze between your shoulder blades and then slowly unrotate just your shoulders and drop your hands down onto your thighs. Now lengthen your neck, settle your chin. All right. So whatever thought you've got right now in your head, right? Is it true? How many times do we challenge our thoughts? That's what I want you to do during our physical practice today. So just take a quick little second, literally second, to think about something that you may have taken personally or catastrophizing, or maybe you did something that you thought it was either black and white and there was no gray area. Just take one little thought for a second. Got it? All right. Take a nice deep inhale here. And then as you exhale, turn your head to the right and look around you. Because what's around you right now, that's what's real. Is that thought real? As you're looking around you, maybe look behind you, look in front of you, look to the left, look above you, but just gently keep your head into that right rotated position. Take a nice deep inhale in and then exhaling out. Gently bring your head back to the center. Stick with your thought. Maybe go on to another one, right? Take a nice deep inhale in. And as you exhale, turn the head to the left. Keep that head to the left but start to look around you. See what's really real that you're seeing and maybe that'll help you kind of differentiate and be that little inspector if that thought is real. Look to the left of you, look to the up, look to the right. Really look around the room that you're in right now. And slowly bring yourself back to the center. All right, now let's do a gentle movement up and down with our head here. So take a nice deep inhale. As you exhale, lengthen your neck, settle your chin, just gently bring your chin down to your chest. 
Look to the left, look to the right, look down into the feet, look maybe up a little bit. And slowly bring your head back upright. Just one more movement of this neck to go to. Take a nice deep inhale. And then as you exhale, allow yourself to gently tip your head upward. Now, major neck issues, be careful with what you're doing here. It's not just the tip of the chin. You're tipping your head upward, shortening the back of the neck, lengthening the front of the neck. All right, stay up there now. Take a look to the right, take a look to the left, look up, look down for a moment. And then slowly bring yourself back to the center. All right, right leg, take it all the way out to the side. Take your left hand, rest it out to the side of whatever it is you're sitting on or bolster. Right hand, bring it up and out to the side of your body. Take a nice deep inhale, lift that hand up and over, reaching and lengthening through your body. We're gonna do this a couple times in a different few different positions today. So now in this position, Allow yourself to rotate your chest upward, armward upward, gaze upward. Take a deep inhale in and exhaling out. One more time, deep inhale in and exhaling out. You got it. Inhale that arm up and trunk up. Exhale, drop that arm down. Bring that right leg in. Take that left leg, bring it all the way out. Drop that right hand down. All right, left hand out into the side of you. Take an inhale, lift that arm up. As you exhale, side bend over, lengthen through that whole body. Now rotate that rib cage up, rotate that arm up. Lengthen that neck and look upward for me. Take that deep inhale in. Exhaling out. Nice deep inhale in for me. And exhaling out. Beautiful. Inhaling, lifting your body up. Exhaling, dropping that hand down, bringing that leg in, turning yourself over so that you're on your hands and knees. Now, as you move on your hands and knees today, we're going to be using our bolster in a couple different positions. So first, just place the bolster in the center of your yoga mat and straddle it with your knees and hands. So allow your knees to be behind the bolster, the hands to be in front of the bolster. As you get yourself in that position, line up those knees, stack those hips, feet look that they're straight back behind those knees, wrists and elbows have them so that they're directly underneath those shoulders, index fingers forward, thumbs inward. Lots of alignment cues, but if you got nice good alignment, that means you're going to really nicely open up that spine with cat cow here. All right. So in this position, just push through your shoulder blades a little bit, lengthen your neck, settle your chin. Now, Take an inhale, sink your belly, lift your tailbone, squeeze your shoulder blades together, lengthen the front of the neck and look all the way up. Now, as you're looking up, just take a little exhale here. Maybe look to the right, maybe look to the left. Look at what's real around you guys. Take a deep inhale here. Then as you exhale, push through your arms, tuck through your tailbone, pull your abdomen in, curl that rib cage under, lengthen the back of your neck, chin to your chest, gaze into your belly button. Now stay here, take a little inhale and exhale again for me. Beautiful. Inhale, sink the belly, lift the tailbone, squeeze those shoulder blades, lengthen that neck. Allow yourself to gaze upward. Take a little exhale here. Now inhaling deeply, look around. And then as you exhale, curl back up into that Angry, angry cat, tuck the tailbone, abdominals in, really spread those shoulder blades, chin to chest, gaze into the belly button. Stay here through a little inhale. Exhale, can you curl up any more today? All right, last round, inhale, sink the belly, lift the tailbone, allow yourself to squeeze those shoulder blades, lift that chest, lengthen the neck, look up. Take a little exhale here. Deep inhale. Look around you. Then as you exhale, find yourself back up into that cat pose. Now, little inhale here. Exhale, exhale. Really, really find yourself in a deep cat pose. And then lock your hands up onto your bolster. Keep yourself in your cat pose. Sit yourself back onto your heels. Curl that tailbone under, curl that rib cage under. Think about the crown of your head going right towards that bolster. Child's pose, now gaze straight back. As you're gazing straight back, 
I want us to take a minute to go back to thinking about cognitive distortion for a second. When's the last time you had a thought and the very first thing that came to your mind was the worst case scenario? It's what drives anxiety, right? My dog is sick. Oh my gosh, my dog's going to die. I almost hit that car. Oh my gosh, I could have totaled my car, right? Catastrophization is one of the key things to anxiety. So what I want you to do here is I want you to challenge your own truth. Think about the last time that you had that worst case scenario run through your head. Gosh, it could have been minutes ago. And allow yourself to take a nice deep inhale in. And then as you exhale, did it happen? Was it real? Was it true? Nice, deep inhale in. Slow, slow exhale. What was the actual reality when you thought that? Then slowly allow yourself to come back up onto your hands and knees. Take that bolster, bring the bolster in front of you and allow yourself to turn so that you're kneeling lengthwise on your yoga mat. Take your right leg and lengthen your right leg all the way out to the side of you. Now in this position, let's do a nice good gate pose here. So let's open up the sides of our bodies and create some good extension at the same time. It's really challenge that flexibility of that nervous system. So check in that your left leg bone is perfectly perpendicular to your yoga mat. Take that pelvis and see if you can level that pelvis a little bit. Yeah, you'll feel that stretch in your inner thigh. That's okay. Right leg, can you see that it lines up with that left knee? All right. Take your right hand, just gently lay it down onto your right leg, just not directly over your knee joint. So above or below. Left hand, bring it out into the side of the air. All right, take a nice deep inhale, lift the left arm up into the air, and as you exhale, side bend over. Beautiful. Now, as you're side bending over, make sure that the right hand on the right leg is not pushing downward into the knee. But give yourself the opportunity now to really open up to that rib cage armpit. Allow yourself to lengthen your neck and gaze all the way upward. Nice deep inhale into your belly. Exhaling out. One more time. Deep inhale in. And exhaling out. Beautiful. Inhale your body upward. And then as you exhale, place your left hand on that bolster. Now, how far away you have the bolster away from your left leg is what feels comfortable for you. Allow yourself to rest your palm down onto your bolster or cushion or whatever you're using. If you've got sensitive wrists, you may want to use a fist. That's a-okay. But let's reverse that gate pose today. So let's create length and flexibility of our nervous system on the opposite side. So right arm, take an inhale, lift it up in the air. And as you exhale, side bend it up and over. Now, really turn that armpit open, really open up that rib cage, lengthen your neck, gaze straight upwards here. Take a deep inhale in and exhaling out. Nice deep inhale in and exhaling out. Beautiful. Inhale, bringing yourself all the way back up. And then as you exhale, slowly allowing your right knee to come down onto your yoga mat. Take your yoga bolster, switch it to the opposite side of your yoga mat, and then bring yourself up into right kneeling. As you bring yourself up into right kneeling, left leg goes out to the side of the body. So check in with your alignment cues. Is the right leg perpendicular to the floor? Left leg is straight out to the side, but is the left knee, or sorry, left foot and the right knee lined up with one another? You got all those things? Time to take it to the pelvis. So take your pelvis and try to square your pelvis up. Yes, you'll feel that inner thigh stretch. So that's part of gate pose. And then gently place your left hand onto your left thigh. All right, full gate pose first here. Right arm out to the side of the body. Take a deep inhale, lift the arm up. And as you exhale, side bend over. Now turn the rib cage open, turn the armpit open. Open, open, open. Take a deep inhale in and exhaling out. Slow, deep inhale in and exhaling out you got it inhale that right arm and trunk up exhale drop that right hand down to that bolster all right so 
reversing gate pose here, nothing changes with your leg. So you should still see that right leg perpendicular to the floor, but let's take that left hand up and out to the side of our body. Nice deep inhale, reach it up and over your body. Now rotate yourself open. Allow that rib cage to open, maybe even the pelvis a little open, arm can open, lengthen your neck gaze upward. Take a deep inhale into your belly here. And exhaling out. Slow, deep inhale into your belly. And exhaling out. Beautiful. Inhaling that trunk and that arm up. And then as you exhale, dropping it down. All right. Bringing the left knee in. Turning yourself back towards the, the bolster. Allowing the bolster to be about a foot or so, two feet away from you. Using your bolster for some support here to get into puppy pose. So check in that your knees are hip distance. Once your knees are hip distance, look straight behind that your feet line up. Stack your hips directly on top of your knees. Now, just gently drop yourself down onto your elbows today. So we're going to do a modification of puppy pose here, and then we'll do the full one the second time around. So in this position, all that I want you to do is just kind of let your elbows splay out to the side onto your bolster, pillow, cushion, whatever you're using. Take a nice deep inhale, and as you exhale, just drop the crown of your head down onto that bolster. Now, in this position, really creating some length through the front of the nervous system here, I want you to think about your chest bone, your sternum bone. What could you do right now to let that sternum bone drop a little bit more towards the floor? You'll feel those shoulder blades engage and come together. And then in this position, make sure your neck is long and your chin is tucked. Take a nice deep inhale into your belly. And then exhaling out. Drop that rib cage. You got it, guys. Do it again. Deep inhale in. And then exhaling out. Wonderful. Slowly push yourself up onto your elbows. Drop your hands to the backside of that bolster. Take a nice deep inhale here. And then on that exhale, tuck that tailbone under, curl that rib cage up, slowly sit your back, yourself back into child's pose. Now dropping the chest down towards the knee, this time crown of the head down to the floor. As you slowly lower your crown of your head to your floor, can you gaze yourself back between your knees and look at those toes being nice and separate? Is that thought that I had that's stressing me out true? Did somebody say something to me and I took it personally? when I have no truth to know if that is really fact. That's what I want you to be thinking about as you're working through moving your body today. Take a deep inhale into your belly. And exhaling out. Slow, deep inhale into your belly. And exhaling out. Beautiful. Gently bring yourself back up on the hands and knees. Puppy pose round two. Now options, do exactly what you did the first time. Or if you want to go into full puppy pose, just gently move your bolster off to the side for a moment. Bring yourself back up on the hands and knees. Stack those hips directly on top of those knees. This time, walk the elbows down where there was a bolster, but now there's no longer a bolster. More of an inversion puppy pose, definitely more extension for the nervous system. That's what we need to tackle that anxiety. And then in this position, just slowly straightening the arms, dropping the chest downward towards the floor, lengthening the neck, gazing straight up towards those thumbs. Now, in this position today, allow yourself to kind of look around you. See what's really real and true around you. It's not those thoughts and negative things that we always say to ourselves. Take a deep inhale in and exhaling out. One more time, nice deep inhale in and exhaling out. Now slowly, crawl yourself downward onto your belly. Now, if your bolster was there, just move your bolster out of your way and gently rest yourself down onto your floor, onto your belly. You're that person that's got a really sensitive low back. You know what? Just leave the bolster there and lay over it. There is nothing wrong with doing that. Lengthen your legs away from you. Make sure you've got some nice good length. Settle your tailbone under a little tiny bit. 
Stack your elbows straight underneath your shoulders and index fingers point them forward. Sphinx pose, lengthen your neck, settle your chin. Gaze straight down at those thumbs. And take a nice deep inhale here. And then exhaling out. All right. Going into modification of upward dog here. So full extension through that nervous system. Allow yourself to take an inhale and start to lift those elbows and straighten them. And as you exhale, imagine that chest bone being pulled upward and outward. Go to where you feel like you can. Lengthen your neck, settle your chin. Take an inhale here. And then as you exhale, slowly lower your elbows back down into sphinx pose. Lengthen your neck, settle your chin, spread between the shoulder blades, settle that tailbone under, gaze at the thumbs. Take a deep inhale here. And then exhaling out. One last time, full modification here of upward. Take an inhale, lift the elbows, straighten the elbows, allow yourself to pull your chest forward, gazing straight up, but neck is long, chin is tucked. Take a deep inhale here. And then as you exhale, slowly lower those elbows back down. Slowly let the elbows come out to the side, drop the crown of the head to the floor. Now walk your hands back underneath your shoulders, tuck your elbows in. Take a nice deep inhale here. And as you exhale, lift that tailbone up, tuck it under. Slowly begin to walk yourself into a child's pose. Settle yourself again into child's pose. Chest all the way down to the knees now. Really lengthen the neck crown of the head touching the floor, gazing back between those knees, looking between those toes as much as you can. All right, another issue with our thoughts. How about that thing that makes us anxious where we think of everything as black and white, right? Never gray. It happens to me, I'm sure it happens to you. Next time you think about that, is it really black or white or is there some gray room and wiggle room in between? All it takes is a breath to allow ourselves to realize that that thought may not be true. Take a deep inhale in. And exhaling out. One more time, deep inhale in. And exhaling out. Beautiful. Slowly push yourself out of a child's pose. Grab that bolster, lay it back again onto your yoga mat. We're going to do a modification of this fish, fish pose next. See if I can say it out loud. <laughs> so allow yourself to take your pelvis and place it to the backside of that bolster. Then in that position, position the bolster so there's a little bit of room for your low back between your bolster and your pelvis. So that when you lay back on the bolster, the bolster is actually gonna be over your rib cage, not over your low back area. Keep your knees nice and bent. You can have your feet about hip distance or together, whichever you feel more comfortable with. Then place your hands onto the bolster, slowly lower yourself back onto the bolster. So we're doing safe fish pose today, right? It's about extension of our nervous system, flexibility, trying to really get rid of those anxious thoughts all in one time, but we don't want to hurt our back at the same time. So in this position, start to slide your heels inward. Rest your hand or hands behind your head. Now, allow yourself to brace through your abdominals and lift your hips up a little tiny bit. Now in this position, Slowly let yourself backward bend over that bolster in a modification of fish pose. Arms can rest downward, arms can rest out beside you. It's whatever feels comfortable for you. But here's what I want you to do. Take your gaze up and away from you. Keep your hips lifted, keep your abdominals engaged. Start to look around you. See what's really real in your life and that those thoughts are oftentimes not real. Take a deep inhale into your belly. And exhaling out. One more time, deep inhale into that belly. And exhaling out. Now keep those hips up in the air. Take those hands back to support that neck first. Slowly curl yourself up as your pelvis hits back to the floor. Drop your elbows to your bolster and just gently push yourself back up into a seated position. Take that bolster mood away from you. Once it's away from you, roll to your left or right side and find yourself over onto your back. 
Okay. Now on our back, rest yourself so that you feel your shoulder blades underneath you. Allow yourself to go through a tuck or a tilt of your pelvis to feel that nice neutral position. Lengthen your neck, settle your chin. Rest the tongue to the roof of your mouth and then take your right knee to your chest. Nice deep inhale in and as you exhale, pull that knee into your chest. Deep inhale into your belly here. And then exhaling out. Slow, deep inhale in and exhaling out. Gently dropping the right foot to the floor, taking the left knee to the chest, hands around that shin bone, pulling that knee into your chest. Nice deep inhale in. As you exhale, pull that knee nice and snug into your chest. Take a deep inhale into your belly here. And exhaling out. One more time, deep inhale in and exhaling out. Keeping the left knee to your chest, bring your right knee to your chest, hugging both knees into your chest, deep inhale in and exhaling out. Now, left knee, lower it down towards the floor, slide the leg all the way down the yoga mat, place the right foot on top of the left thigh, left hand to the outside of the right knee, right hand out to the side of the body. Take a nice deep inhale here, and then on the exhale, pulling that knee to the left, feeling that pelvis, that low back, and that rib cage open. Right shoulder blade, leave it onto the yoga mat, lengthen your neck, settle your chin in, and turn your gaze towards your right. And keep your eyes open today. Look fully around you. See what's really real in your life. Those thoughts, they may be distorted, right? They may be lies. Take a deep inhale into your belly. And exhaling out. One more time, deep inhale in. And exhaling out. And slowly unrotating your head to the center. Starting at that right rib cage and slowly derotating that rib cage, that low back, that pelvis, placing the right foot on the floor, sliding the left leg up, taking your left knee to your chest, taking your right knee to your chest. Nice, deep inhale into the belly here. And then as you exhale, pull the knees into the chest. Then lower the right foot back down to the floor. Slide the right leg all the way down straight on your yoga mat. Place your left foot onto your right thigh, right hand outside of the left knee, left hand out to the side of your body. Take a nice deep inhale here. And then as you exhale, pulling that knee to the right, lifting the pelvis, the low back, the rib cage, left shoulder blade stays down. Lengthen your neck, settle your chin and turn your gaze towards the left. So the next time you believe your thoughts, just allow yourself to just to say, but is it real? Take a deep inhale into your belly. Exhale out. Is it real? Deep inhale into the belly. And exhaling out. Slowly unrotating your head. Starting at that rib cage and derotating that rib cage, that low back and that pelvis, placing that left foot back down onto the floor, sliding that right leg up, right knee to your chest, left knee to your chest. Last time here, take those knees into your chest, nice deep inhale in and as you exhale, pull those knees in, take a deep inhale into your belly here and then exhaling out. All right, slowly one foot at a time, lower them down to the mat. Slowly allow yourself to drop your heels down to the corners of your mat, relaxing your pelvis, relaxing your abdominals, shoulder blades underneath you, arms out and beside you. Lengthen your neck, settle your chin. So we took the opportunity to move our spine in all degrees of motion today, making our nervous system as flexible as possible, hopefully speaking, speaking to that amygdala that epicenter of stress in our brain and letting it calm down. But the other thing we did is we talked about the components that create cognitive distortion, that create that thoughts are real. So the next time you have a thought, 
make sure that you ask yourself, is it real? Maybe you need to say, am I thinking worst case scenario? Am I taking things too personally? Am I looking just at the black and white of things? Am I driving myself by my emotions? Or maybe what I'm doing is just not allowing myself to be a good detective of my thoughts. Leave your body nice and still. Take some slow, deep inhales and exhales. And then slowly start to wiggle your fingers and your toes and do some circles with your wrists and your ankles. And then when you feel like you're ready, allow yourself to slide your legs up, bend your knees one at a time, bend those elbows and gently let yourself roll to your left or your right side. Rest there for just a moment or two, breath or two or three. And then when you feel like you're ready, using that bottom elbow and that top hand, push yourself up into a seated position, find yourself an easy pose. All right. Resting yourself in easy pose, place your hands in the center of your heart. And maybe today, give yourself a little, a little time to pause. Next time you have that thought that's driving your anxiety, maybe don't let yourself jump to conclusions. Take a moment just to take a breath and pause and say, is that thought real? Look around you. Take a deep inhale in and exhale out. Namaste. The highest in me salutes to the highest in you. Thank you for joining me today.